Hello, y'all. This is Brett, Swafford Homestead. I'm out here pulling onions. I've looked the onions over since the rain, and I noticed a lot of them is they're ready, but they're not doing the normal thing when they're ready. We'll talk about that in just a minute. All right, I got me a bucket, and I'm looking for onions that the neck has shrunk down on. Like these. These are Alyssa Craig. You can tell because normally, well, normally that is. Well, anyway, I was going to talk about this onion. I broke the stem on it. Normally, when the onions are ready, this part of the stem here gets real small. And the onion does this, still sitting in the ground. And you know it's ready. This one has not done that. But I could tell the onion was, the thin layer on the outside, the paper -like layers was starting to really turn dark. Decided it's probably not gonna break. Like this one, it's flimsy, but it didn't lean over. That was mushy. It's that's probably done. Green, I'm out here. There's a good onion. Yeah, I didn't keep the grass out these last couple of weeks because it rains so much. It's just hard to get anything done. No bad onion, even in my hand. That one is a lesser Craig. Pretty sure that one is too. They're more of a oblong shape. I'm trying to get all these out. We've done pulled several onions. Some are smaller Alyssa Craigs. As you can see, there's no longer six rolls here. Most of Alyssa Craigs has been pulled. That's what I'm in for the most part. These over here are the Bulb onions I bought from the hardware store. Bulk bin onions, as I call them. You buy them by the pound, you scoop them out. Now, this is a Craig, something I grow by seed. See, I'm, I normally have bigger onions on the list of Craig's than anything. Here's a prime example. That one right there, it's already dark in the bottom. See how it, it's just flimsy. That onion was ready to pull. I've got another one over here. Make sure. I'm going to leave. This one's got seed. I'm going to leave it. This one. See, it's next broke, basically. That onion's ready to go. Looks like we might have to empty the five gallon bucket. get these other two and I'll go empty my bucket and we'll come back all right my phone died I was trying to do this with the phone keep from having to get the camera out I've got it rigged up now where it's charging and I can video too it's just so much easier running the video camera and dealing with all that anyway these are the, the bulk bin onions, the onion bulbs you buy at the store, buy them by the pound, well they, well, they do in the hardware stores here. They got big bags of them, you take a scoop, weigh them out, get you a pound at a time, half pound, whatever you want, five pounds if, you, if you're crazy enough to plant all them. But I'm looking for the ones where the stem is shrunk, or the stem has started to deteriorate, one of the two. I did keep digging and find a few more Alyssa Craig's, the smaller ones. 
But I wanted to show you the, the bulk bin onions. You know, they start out them little tiny bulbs. That's not a bad one. That's not a big one. There's a good one. <laughs> Obviously not going to pull all these while I'm on the camera. This would take too long, but I'm going to pull these I've got a place on the porch. I've got a table Kind of keep them up out of the weather since it's You can't decide whether it's going to rain or not. I just want to show you some of the bigger ones Onion bub that you buy from the store will make big onions They'll make good onions Thought I'd show you some of the bigger ones. I do a garden tour too, but that ain't bad. About two and a half, maybe three. So if you take care of them, you plant them right, and you fertilize them good, you can get some good onions out of them. They're not just for green onions. But I about got a bucket full. I'm going to go into the bucket, come back and pull all these, and I will show you my stack of onions when I'm done. Well, you can see what we gathered. This is going into the house. It's several onions that's already been cut off. I'm just going to take them in and cut them up. Of course, these are the ones I just got done pulling. And there was a bucket full up here that you didn't see me pull. And the bucket you did see me pull is back there. So yeah, we've got quite a few onions. Now I looked in the house a while ago. I went through. We've got, I think, three gallon bags cut up already of onions out of the garden. Not counting the ones we've ate. We've been eating out of them for a couple of weeks now. But you can see there's big onions and not so big onions. Some of them just don't make, like that one. It never made a bulb. One like this made a really big bulb. You see how the the neck of it shrunk down. You knew it was making a bulb. This one didn't do as much, but it still made a pretty good onion. When the neck gets really small, that's when they when they'll break over. See, this one didn't break over, but the the greens come apart on it instead. So you really got to pay attention to what the onion looks like. If they go to rotting in the bottom, this is here. This is trying to make green onions already. It's already trying to reproduce. So your roots are pretty well gone and it gets soft. You gotta watch for that stuff. Not all onions will shrink down to the point they break over. Some of them just get really large stems, like this one. It never did do what it what most of them would do. Just have to check around the bases, make sure they're swelled up, make sure they're getting dark. You know, the that paper shell skin on the outside is getting rough and getting dark. It's probably done all it's going to do. But we got a few onions. I'll make a few more gallon bags. Now there's a few more still out in the garden. I think we did pretty good for a, I think it was a pound of the box bin onions, three dollars worth of onions. I think I got my money's worth. I think I did pretty good. Considering I probably got that much already in the house. <laughs> Just thought I'd show you my onion harvest. Hope you'll have a good week. God bless.